Hey, wanted to show you my garden here. Start with the herbs, and I've got some lemon balm. And this here is lemon basil. Right here, I got some chocolate mint. Some Greek oregano. Doing really well. Some regular oregano. And this over here is my prize marigold plant. Sounds huge. I got some parsley here. Rosemary. Thyme. More thyme back there. And I've got dill. Over here is tarragon. And then I got spearmint. I just planted yesterday. Same with menthol. Mintha plant. Just planted it yesterday. Here's a, um, a basil plant. There's two kinds of basil that I got there. And this here is peppermint. And here's a third kind of basil. Fourth kind of basil. And a fifth kind of basil. More basil there. Over here is pineapple sage. Really yummy. Some lavender. There's uh, cilantro. This here's Swiss chard. And here's my pepper plants. And cayenne pepper. This one here is a hot pepper. Doing well. I planted this one from seed. Another hot pepper. And this little guy is a Fresno chili pepper that I bought. And I got a bell pepper here. And this is my my big bell pepper. It's finally starting to bell up. Looks like we got about four or five of them on here now. And there's one that's starting to get there. And there's another bell, another bell. And this is a sweet pepper. And another sweet pepper. Those I planted from seed. All right. Then we've got my tomato plants. And these here are beefsteak. And it's just starting to get some tomatoes on. And I had to uh, really clean them up because they grew wild. And uh, this one here is an heirloom tomato plant. And it's doing well. And then this is another beefsteak. And it looks me in the eye. <laughs> this one hasn't produced anything yet, but I just got them cleaned up. Cut away a lot of the suckers there. And uh, this heirloom has been giving me one red tomato at a time. <laughs> Strange. All right, over here is my cucumbers. It's climbing the fence there. So we get some little cucumbers on it. Down here. So we get some. And there's the watermelon. Got a little guy. Uh, three of the nine plants, nine or twelve, I can't remember. Three of them came up, and I'm really glad because. This is only three plants, and it's kind of going crazy. I learned I can grow up vertical. So got a little watermelon growing in bags here. Another one up here. They're starting to pop out all over the place. <laughs> Last count was 12 watermelons. Okay, down in here I've got lettuce. And I've got onions and carrots. This here's my broccoli. Just harvested ahead yesterday. Uh, it's doing well. And this is my sea of summer squash. <laughs> and 
I'm going to eat it and give it away and eat it and give it away. Lots of squash. I think there's 16 plants in there. And here's my corn. And my corn has hit 10 feet high in some places. The corn's looking really good. That's big. Getting near it. Now I planted all this stuff um, May 26th of this year, and uh, I got the bug once I saw this growing. So I fenced off the rest of the yard and got this going. <laughs> so over here I got my second string of peas for the season. peas, more cilantro, it's growing like crazy, this here is more basil, down here I've got cauliflower, and I had to grow more cauliflower because this cauliflower here got mixed in with my mustard, I got more onions down here, I got spinach here. More onions. And here I've got garlic. More garlic over here. Back here I got radishes and another bell pepper plant. All right, up against this fence. These are buttercup squash. Quite a few of them. Coming in pretty good, even down here on the ground. Yeah. I have nine plants of those. Over here is an indigo tomato plant, and uh, this is a grafted plant. And uh, it's starting to flower again. The deer had gotten this one in Carson City three weeks, a month ago, and uh, it's coming back quite nicely. So, over here is my eggplant. And this is the biggest eggplant I think I've ever seen. And I've got my first, first eggplant going there. Yeah. Dog is gonna bark. Okay, these are tomato plants. And I had planted these by seed uh, underneath my itty bitty squash plants. And uh, it took the tomatoes quite a while to come up. By the time they did, the squash had just completely overtaken them. So I transplanted them over here. And they're doing really well. Got some flowers on them. Should be getting some tomatoes on these pretty soon. This is my flower garden. Got lots of marigolds. This here is a centropia. Got there some orange flower. <laughs> and this here, I've got blackberry. And I got some blackberries on there. Doing good, doing good, doing good. Just planted that in here this year. Here we got some uh, sweet pea flowers. They're trying. And down here, uh, I got artichoke. Uh, I had originally planted these uh, along the fence, and there was not enough sun over there. So I planted them over here. They're doing much better. For five years, I'll have some artichoke. So here is 35 cantaloupe plants. here as well. So here shortly I believe I'm going to be having about 500 cantaloupe. Here's my second string of beans. This 
this here is actually my compost area and I just bury everything a really quick turnaround this here is I, I believe cantaloupe growing in my compost over here got a raspberry plant it's doing well so well the grapes love it <laughs> and here's the grapes these are a miracle grape um, when my aunt moved into this house she stopped watering them and they died and the last year I came in moved in and um, there was a little grape plant so I let it go this year just to see what it would do and it's going crazy so I'm going to cut it back this fall and, and run along the fence and next year have some wonderful grapes they're like the best grapes ever so there you go this is my uh, my entire garden